Superbase promises a generous free tire, but what are the true costs you need to watch out for? Superbase has gained popularity as an open source alternative to Firebase. Offering a powerful backend with a free tire, this seems too good to be true. But as with any service, there are costs you might not anticipate. If you're not careful, your Superbase bill could add up quickly. In this video, we'll break down Superbase's pricing model, what's free, where you might face unexpected costs, and how to optimize your usage to avoid unnecessary charges. Superbase provides four subscription tires, free, pro, team, and enterprise. Each plan offers different features and pricing, which can be reviewed on the pricing page. For free plan, it grants two free projects across all organizations where you're an owner or administrator. Paused projects do not count towards this limit. And for paid plans, you unlock additional features and increase usage quarters. When an organization upgrades to a paid plan, all its projects receive the benefits and none are paused due to inactivity. So let's have a look at organization-based billing. Billing is managed per organization, meaning each organization has its own subscription plan, payment method, billing cycle, and invoices. Mixed plans are not allowed within the same organization. To have projects on different plans, you need to create separate organizations. Paid plans have a fixed monthly fee plus variable, variable usage fees based on consumption. Each project within an organization runs on its own dedicated Postgres instance and compute costs are charged separately. Usage quotes, quotes apply to selected items, for example, storage, database size, edge function invocations, and the like. Exceeding these limits in cars, limits in cars additional fees, and some features such as compute and custom domains have no free quota and are fully billed. So here is a brief breakdown. A full breakdown of the billing details is available on the Manage Your Usage page. So let's look at some of the add-ons uh, the, the, the organizations can enhance on individual projects. First, we have the compute scaling, which where you can expand database capacity up to 64 cores and 256 GB RAM. Then we have read replicas, where you can improve read performance and redundancy. We also have high performance storage that provides extra disk throughput. Then we have log drains, which integrate super-based logs with external logging systems. And we're able to establish a branded experience by using custom domains. Then we have point in time recovery where we can restore databases to a specific moment. Also, you can assign a fixed IPv4 address. And also you can support authentication beyond the, you can perform advanced MFAs beyond the TOTP. For more details, you can always visit the Superbase's billing and cost management resources. Now let's look at the potential unexpected costs. Superbase offers 5 GB of free file storage, but if your app deals with large media files or user uploads, you might quickly exceed this limit. Additional storage is built per GB beyond the free tire. So let's take an example. A social media app where users upload images and videos will require much more storage than the free limit allows, right? You might end up paying uh, per GB of extra storage usage. Another thing is, while Superbase provides a powerful database, every query counts, so running too many queries can lead to additional costs, especially with frequent MP API requests fetching large data sets or having real-time listeners constantly updating data or inefficient queries that require scanning large portions of the database. So let's take an example. You can have an e-commerce app that runs complex product searches on every user request and could hit query limits very quickly. So optimizing queries with indexing and caching can really help reduce costs. Also, we have bandwidth 
usage, which is often overlooked, but it's a critical factor in Superbase's pricing. Every file download, API request, and real-time update can consume bandwidth. And exceeding the free 2GB bandwidth limit means paying per additional GB usage. Let's take an example. A video streaming app that frequently loads large files will see bandwidth costs rise very significantly. So using content delivery network CDNs can help minimize direct bandwidth costs. Now that we have looked at the potential unexpected costs, let's look at how we can optimize Superbase usage to avoid those extra costs. Superbase provides analytics to track your database, your file storage, and also your bandwidth usage. So you can set up alarms, alerts to notify you when you're nearing free tire limits. So it's good to monitor your usage regularly. Another way is to optimize database queries. You can do this by using indexing to speed up queries. You can also reduce unnecessary reads and writes and cache frequently access data to minimize the queries. Also, you can reduce storage costs by compressing and optimizing images before uploading. You can also delete unused files regularly to free up space. And lastly is to store static assets elsewhere, for example, in a CDN or on another cloud provider. Also, you can manage API requests and real-time subscriptions. Use pagination for API responses instead of loading massive data sets at once. You can also limit the number of real-time listeners active at any given time. Also, implement backend caching to reduce redundant queries. And lastly, another way to optimize your Superbase usage to avoid extra cost is using a hybrid storage approach. If you need massive storage, consider using AWS S3 for large files while keeping structured data in Superbase. This will help balance costs while maintaining a seamless integration. So Superbase offers an incredible bucket solution with a generous free tire, but it's essential to understand the fine print to avoid unexpected costs. By monitoring your usage and optimizing your queries, storage, and bandwidth, you can keep your expenses in check while enjoying the power of Superbase. So what do you think? Have you encountered unexpected costs while using Superbase? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found this use helpful. As you are aware, I have been working on a tutorial on Superbase and Flutter and shared the first part end of last year, which is long overdue. Sorry about that. Thanks to the incredible feedback from many of you and the generous support of those who want to help me continue creating, I'm excited to announce an upcoming membership right here. This will allow me to provide full and finished in-depth tutorials from the start every month based on the topics you want to learn. Your support means the world to me and I can't wait to build this with you. Stay tuned, it's launching this month and we'll still have plenty of free content for everyone right now.